The cold generally sits between six to nine degrees. Oh, that's cold. And especially with what's happened over the last couple of years is fear is something that is just instilled within us. Well, we didn't. We they didn't train hard enough to recover, so. Welcome to another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you have to to blow this channel up. Tori has actually surprised me yesterday at football. I finished the game yesterday. One of my teammates comes into the change rooms. I was having a share at the time. He goes, hey, Brody is outside the change rooms waiting for you. And I was like, Brody? Who's Brody? Like the only Brody really that I know is my brother. And one, he never usually comes to my games and two, he would never usually stick around after the game, especially, we're probably in the change rooms for about half an hour before I went and had a shower. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, quickly finished up because I thought it was some family emergency. I thought mum, something had happened to mum or dad and I thought they must be in hospital or something because for him to hang around is just so unusual and unlike him. So I was like, what the fuck's happening? So, there you go. I'm going to be recording a little recovery day sort of vlog. So the day after a game, um, getting sort of seeing what I do. I've booked in to peak, which is where I usually go. So we're going to be doing some recovery stuff there. And I'm going to take you through everything there. I think it's a good insight into how I sort of prepare for the following week. Um, so we've got our last game of the year next week. Uh, I am a little bit sore at the moment. So I'm going to take you through that. Let's go. <music> So obviously nutrition plays a big part in your recovery post game and the next day and all that sort of stuff. So for footy, generally, I struggle to eat a bit on game day um, compared to my energy output. I'll eat breakfast uh, and then I'll probably, I won't eat until maybe I have like a little bar, maybe an hour or an hour and a half before the game. And that is it for me. Um, so I have like peanut butter on toast, generally four slices of peanut butter on toast. Uh, and then I won't eat until dinner time basically because we start at two o'clock, don't finish till around four, five-ish. Uh, then by the time I get home and actually have something to eat, then I'll have a little bit of junk food, whatever I'm sort of feeling at that time. So the next day I try and get as many calories in as possible because I know the output that I had on that day is, and the intake that I had is absolute, like it's just blown out of proportion. So what we have here, generally we get given um, like focaccia sort of rolls uh, post game, put some hummus, barbecue sauce, Give it a little bit of flavor and that'll do me for breakfast. It's currently 9.30. I've got recovery at 10.30 booked in at peak. So I'm gonna smash this down. I highly recommend if you struggle getting food in on the game day, make the day before and the day after really, really high calorie intake. So for me, I'll eat a lot of food the night before. I'll generally have pasta, garlic bread, maybe some dark chocolate, those sorts of things to get the calories in. So then in the morning, I don't have, feel like I have to eat so much. I used to be the other way. I used to eat a heap of food and it made me feel like shit. So I've sort of made that adjustment. Eat less on game day, but knowing that I've got my calories stored from the night before as well, makes me feel a little bit better, a little bit lighter in the stomach on game day when I'm running around. That is how I roll. <music> going up and down the screen. I think it's this light, the sauna light here. So jumped in the recovery baths for a bit, which was cool. Um, we did four by two minutes cold, two minutes hot. The cold generally sits between six to nine degrees. Oh, that's cold. And the warm sits between 
37 and 39 degrees, somewhere around there. So I ticked off those two, jumped in the pants, sort of just get the blood flow moving. That's what recovery day is all about is if you sit down and rest for too long, yes, rest is important, but active recovery is just important. During the game, I'm going to accrue a lot of lactic acid, build up um, a lot of hydrogen ions, blood lactate, which causes fatigue in the body. All right. So that's lactic acid build up is hydrogen ions and blood lactate. So once we finish the game, what happens is our body goes into recovery mode. The more oxygen we can get in, the better, because that means the more blood flow is moving around and we can actually start to remove those waste products. And obviously when we rest and don't really move too much, we don't. the blood is not moving. So we don't get um, removal of those waste products. I'm trying to put this as simply as possible. The next day, basically what we want to try and do is move the body as much as we can, all right? The more that we can move the body, the more waste product is going to be removed from our body. Just from blood flow, carbon dioxide leaving the body, waste products start to um, move out of the body. So that's what we're trying to do. That's the aim of today um, is to remove all the waste products. You're not going to remove everything. You're still going to be a little bit fatigued and sore on Monday, two days post game. But if we can do as much as we can now, the better we're going to feel, the better it's going to be for us the following day. So that's the idea. I'm going to spend 30 minutes in the sauna here. It's currently at 54 degrees. I want to uh, I want to speak to you guys about something that really resonates with me and I think will really, really resonate with you guys as well. So be tuned for that. Stay till the end of the video because I want you to I want you to connect with it and I want it to be a source of inspiration and motivation for you, especially with everything that's happened in the last two years. So be ready for that. Sauna is done. Fucking sweating bullet. I reckon I started sweating at like the 24 minute mark, which is very early on. I still got 24 minutes to go, but recovery is done. <laughs> Really important to uh, rehydrate the next day too. Um, post game, generally I wouldn't get enough water in. After the game, I'm pretty good water intake, try and drink as much as possible. But because you haven't eaten in a while, he exits your body a lot quicker too. So get that water in as much as we can, electrolyte. I know mum will say celery juice as well. So something that I do need to pick back up on is the celery juice. But I'm going to see you back home. Let's go. Oh, fancy seeing you here. Welcome to my crib. But it is shower time. Whilst I take you up to shower with me, hit me in the comments below with what video you'd like to see next. I always want feedback. Let me know if you like the videos. Let me know what you want to see. Because it really helps me out. Outfit check. So, as some of you may have known, if you've seen my last vlog, I am a new rider wear athlete. So, we've got a cap on. Just one of their standard caps. Uh, I think it's in the pursuit range from memory. I'll usually probably wear that backwards once I've got a bit of gel in my hair and whatnot and get myself. We've got shorts. Uh, so, a little small logo and just a little rider wear on the side. Nicely blended in. And then I just recently got this green hoodie. I got an XL in these. These ones I ordered a size too big. Um, I don't like shorts sort of going down towards my knees. I could probably get away with them quite comfortably, but I just like them to sit a little bit shorter rather than where they are right now. So I think these ones are an XL. Um, and then my hoodie is also an XL. So a little bit of a oversized sort of fit, loving the green, and yeah, that is me. One thing I wanted to discuss with you guys, which I think is super, super important in this day and age, and especially with what's happened over the last couple of years, is fear is something that is just instilled within us now. I feel like everyone is too scared to sort of go what they're after, to go out and say their goals to one of their friends or one of their family members, because if they don't get towards that end goal, they feel like it's a failure and they feel like they've put themselves out there for nothing, which should not be the case. Fear is the one thing that is gonna hold people back from their health and fitness goals, career goals, relationship goals, whatever it is. But fear, I feel like is the number one driving factor is as to why people don't achieve their optimal potential as people say. 
one thing that I want to come across from me, which I've realized this week, I rocked up to training and I was like, I feel like I am the person that needs to be the one that when he, they walk inside the room, like not from an arrogance perspective, but when they walk in the room, the energy changes for a positive reason. Like the room, the energy in the room just is lifted to another level. And that's what I want to achieve within my po own personal self and it's one of my personal goals. And that comes with the fear of caring about what other people think, which is such a big thing in today's society. And again, another reason as to why people don't achieve their goals is because they're scared of what other people think. And that's what I want this channel to come across as is no matter what your goal is, just go after it. Don't give a fuck about what other people think. And that is something that I'm going to continue to carry through this channel. And if you're seeing this video right now, I hope this is an inspiration for you to go after, to do whatever you want to do, because there's so much potential out there, so much opportunity out there, whether it's career, whether it's sporting, whether it's social whatever it is all right there is so much opportunity for each and every one of us individuals but we don't go after it because we're too scared of what our friends will say of what our family members will say you just got to go after what feels right for you at that time and let the universe guide you through whatever is meant to be for you because i'm a massive believer that everything happens for a reason it's how you perceive and how do you view the world is what decision you make next so make it a positive one go out there make an impact and don't give a f about what other people think finally going to pick up tori she took her damn time it is 3 30 i dropped her off at eight o'clock to get her hair done and it's 3 30. someone tell me in the comments why it takes girls so long to get their hair done it is ridiculous i don't understand i don't understand i don't understand bitch i don't understand Live reaction. Wow. Oh, my lips so dry. Look at it. Nice, Bubba. I don't know how I feel. Why? I don't know if I like it. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Stunning. Do you like it? Yeah. Do you I don't know how I feel. I think this is the last time I'm going to go blonde. What? I'm blonde so bitch. Anyway, it's. 3.51. Yeah, fucking it was telling She them. told me one to two, which I didn't think would happen, but I kind of was like halfway through. I was like, oh yeah, finish by one or two because the other girl's like going now. But it, it's three. It's four o'clock. And I'm hungry. We need to get content. Yo, took your time. Ugh. Two chippies. We got Guzman going. GYG baby! GYG baby! Guys, we're going home to put the mattress downstairs and watch a movie. To you, my lady. That came. Well, come in close to me. You're not in my camera. Well, considering I'm doing a recovery day vlog, from an acrobatic perspective, mm -hmm. give your number one recovery tip well we didn't we they didn't train hard enough to recover so oh no anyway i could punch you so hard right now don't even stop i try i would train more hours than you i had this discussion with josh and marcus what about me i've seen you guys train no you haven't you came to a session you stand around for 50 percent. you of it. did not you literally have been to a session Post pandemic, then in train for two years, not in comp season, and I wasn't training. So, pipe down. I didn't ask for you to carry on. Anyway. I asked for your number one yeah, recovery well, tip. I was getting into that. Oh, okay. I was saying, never got enough information on recovery, and like, we didn't do recovery. Like, we wouldn't do, we never did ice baths, we never did. We wouldn't even stretch down after a second. So my tip is... We don't need your whole life story. Just tell us your number one recovery tip. You, you idiot. You're honestly an idiot. I don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with you. Fuck you. <laughs> Baba, what's your no. recovery tip? My recovery tip is do recovery. My favorite is um, ice baths and sauna. Give me a breakdown. <sighs> Why is there... My cupping! It's Cupping's also really good. Stopping you from choking. Well, we do, what, two, three minutes in the ice bath. Hot, cold pools. 
So contrast, not a nice part. Contrast, yes. Or I do one like 10 minute stint. And then I, I'm in the sauna. I do 15, 20 minutes. Because otherwise my skin breaks out too much. It's got onion in it. I also love massage and like cupping and stuff, which you don't. Thanks for your insight. Apparently, <laughs> don't use tuna covers or pillowcases around here because they're overrated. Welcome to my crib. Quick, 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 quick. I should look in the news. No woman has all that. Okay, let's see. Let's see here. Forty dollars. I have forty dollars. Number two. Fuck this shit. See, I'm a guru. TikTok, TikTok guru. How much water? Oh, wow. Dog. Bro, <laughs> I didn't even eat you. <laughs> Good evening. Any final words to the vlog? Ignite your potential. You know what mine is? Ignite your potential. No. Stay fearless. That's a new one. You'll have to watch this vlog to find out what it means. I'll be sure to watch it. Be sure to watch.